Hey guys, it's Jeff. I'm in my test world and I just wanted to uh, give you guys a, a little demonstration of a device that I created which is an, uh, an item uh, empty full, det slash full detector uh, which allows you to take uh, items, load them in, have them automatically load into a dropper and then it will keep loading the items into the dropper until the dropper is full and only when it is full will it finally start uh, dispensing the items and then it will keep dispensing them until the dropper is empty at which point it will uh, it will turn off and be ready to uh, be filled up again. Um, so uh, I originally developed this uh, for a, an automated chicken farm that I was trying to create. Uh, I, this I got working pretty well. The rest of the chicken farm, not so much. I'm still kind of working away on it. Uh, anyway, so the, the dropper has a, 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 or this device has a few basic parts. So this is the dropper where that is currently almost full. It's got everything except for these 24 uh, magenta blocks in it that from while I was testing it. And uh, what happens is once it get, gets activated, it starts uh, sending the blocks up into the dropper above it, which then uh, dispenses it out. Now this this part of it here is stackable. It can you can basically have uh, do vertical wiring up the side like this, alternating, and you can just have a stack of droppers uh, going up. So it's great for making like item elevators and things like that. So then here I have uh, the item regulator. So this is all the way full, but just missing a single dirt block here, and that. Um, that sets the threshold for when the droppers uh, start activating. Uh, so that is feeding through this comparator into the, the second input of this comparator, which is this one is set into subtraction mode so that uh, only once this one, uh, when this one, uh, when this fills up, it will uh, finally give it enough power to, uh, to power uh, this uh, circuit here. So this circuit is the it's full and ready to start firing circuit, all the, the red here. And then that leads into an RS NOR latch, which is the, the yellow bits here. There's a, a torch underneath there. So the yellow wool here is an RS NOR latch. Uh, the RS NOR latch then when it's activated uh, will trigger this blue circuit, which is a, a clock, and then the, the clock will keep running until this, which is the, the empty detector circuit. So this, uh, once this is empty, it will uh, no longer be putting out a signal. So this comparator will shut off, allowing this torch to, act, to activate, and then that will uh, re-lock the RS NOR latch and turn off the clock. So I'm just gonna give you a quick uh, demonstration of how it works. So just grab blocks and this will be en just enough in there to uh, to fully fill that bottom dispenser so they are ah, they're currently filling up let's see it's almost full two three four and it triggers activates the circuit and the items are the purple wool blocks are coming being funneled up through the dispensers and spitting out the top I will just pull out a stack, um, and I have a, a built-in kill switch over here. It's it's had enough uh, enough items have gone out of it that it uh, no longer uh, needs them in order to function. But actually, let me let me give you a quick demonstration. Let's get this filled back up again, um, and then we'll go to half a stack. We'll activate it again, and then I'll pull almost all the, the stacks out and show you uh, and prove that it will uh, automatically shut off as well. Um, so let's go here and we go drop those. Okay, so those feed in and then after it's full it'll start firing. So the the hopper down here is currently filling it up one and should fire there it goes okay so now just so you don't have to sit through the entire thing emptying I'm gonna go ahead and pull out most of these so it, it's still going because it's not empty yet Pull out half of those 
but then once it empties, it will turn off automatically. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and shut down. There it goes. So, uh, yeah, uh, the one thing that I haven't managed to figure out quite yet is how to uh, adjust the threshold for this accurately. Um, I tried putting different amounts in here, but I couldn't get this level of precision within a single block except when it was totally full. So, uh, but it could be handy if, for instance, you want to have a cart system or something like that where you don't want to send the carts away until, unless they have uh, a bunch of uh, blocks in them. Uh, or, uh, like I mentioned, I was using it for a chicken farm. So, uh, anyway, uh, if you like this uh, little demonstration, uh, give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I hope to be coming out with more of these kind of contraption uh, videos as well as my Let's Play. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. Bye.